Bitte schön. Ja. Come up, long way through, You know, we have to create a, an environment of excellence or, or of real high quality, and the base we used in Austria it provides that. There are new training pitch there, which was excellent. Um, the food, the base, all of those things are very important. When you're bringing not only the 23, 25 players together, you know, you've got as many as 12 to 15 staff. You're probably responsible for 40 people in total. There's nothing worse if the hotel's not great, the food's not great, the surroundings aren't great. So that, that affects the mood of everyone, not just the, the, the players. So it is very important, and you know David Curry does a great job in that, and we know what we're looking for in a base. There's, there's caps going back here for a few seasons, and what we also have is, which I think is rather nice, is this one? They have a Eurofinals cap as well for those years that were in France. Ian Ferguson. You know, when we look back over both games, we feel probably obviously frustrated with the results. Um, yeah, we could play better as well. You know, we can't uh, just put it down to you know lack of good luck or whatever you know uh, term you want to use for it. For me, like you know, we, we didn't play as well in Austria as what we could have done. But I think the key thing was in terms of game management is you know we had chances to go ahead. We've probably the best chance of the game to go ahead in Austria and we don't take it and then obviously we're punished with our out of it and we're a little bit unlucky obviously not to get the equaliser. Yeah, get ready. Uh, I didn't have my pads on. I had to run over, get my pads, put my pads on. Um, didn't really have much time trying to find out where I am for set of pieces and all that. And I want to go to the pitch and, and I'll be honest, I, I, I didn't really, I didn't really take a second to think, oh wow, I've made my international day, but I just tried to get on with the game and um, I was in the game really. Um, and well, yeah, it, it was more when I got back to the hotel and the next day I realised that, you know, pinch yourself a little bit, you know, you've made your interna international debut, um, you give yourself a pat on the back, I guess. On a personal side, it, it, it felt, um, just because I knew how proud my mum would be um, and my family would be, um, it was, that was one of the most satisfying things because you know, um, my mum's been probably one of the biggest, well, the biggest part of my life. Um, so she, if I can do anything to make her happy and proud, then I will do it. And this is definitely one of them things where she, she's over the moon. She can't stop telling everyone or I think most people know anyway now, but you know, then she's still telling them again and she's still, still telling me, you know, Tell, telling me what to eat, still tell, trying to tell me, you know, you need to make sure you stretch and all that sort of stuff, and, and she'll always do that. Ladies and gentlemen, I have just landed at Sahara Airport. Please remain seated with us about science until presence of science and we'll switch off. Smoking is still not allowed. 
Let's get the quality in it. Okay, Sunday morning, we're training on Sunday league team. Come on. We had a great week leading into these two games, to be honest. It was difficult in the transition because Bosnia possibly didn't give us the level of excellence that we had in, in uh, Austria. Um, that's the difference between moving between two different countries and, and, and the, the the economic differences between the two countries as well. But I thought that, uh, you know, all in all, we couldn't have got any more from the trip in terms of our preparation. Just play, just play into the next level of the pitch. <laughs> okay, so you can go straight from the end to the middle of the next one. I remember we're driving down and I was like, I was thinking I'm going to go have a coffee yeah. with an international manager. He's took the time out of his day to, to do that for me, uh, to have that chat, and he didn't need to do it. And it, it shows the kind of personality that he has, a very caring kind of manager who wants, who's always looking out for you and always looking to help. Um, uh, Michael and Mike Taylor, they were all trying to help me find loans in, earlier in my career, a couple of years ago, trying to get me out playing from as early as possible. So they're a big part in my development. You've, you've got to, as a young player or, or any player really, you've got to try and learn from everyone else around you because that's they're there. They've been there and done it. Obviously, they're a lot older than me, so they've they've been around the block and they've they've played these games that I'm now playing in. So they they know what's expected. They know what ne needs to be done. And obviously, if any questions are I need I need to ask, they they're there with the answers and they're there to help. Um, a young goalkeeper like myself, I'm only 21, I'm just starting out of what hopefully is a really long career. Um, and to, to have that on tap as such, the experience, it can only just benefit me. Steve, can I just ask you how you reflect overall on the sort of two games so far and is the overriding emotion amongst the players one of frustration that you maybe haven't picked up what you maybe deserve from those two games? Uh, yeah, I think so. I think very much so from um, the Bosnia game at home. Um, we spoke with that straight after the game and obviously the level performance that we had on the night deserved a lot more. I think um, the game against Austria the other night, there's definitely areas we can improve on. Um, but ultimately had a couple of really good chances in the game and should have taken some from it. In the second game again, we should have been ahead. You know, Dzeko scores the first goal for Bosnia. We should have been level before obviously he scored the second goal. When you miss opportunities, as we did, at those key points in the game or key times in the game, it's difficult. You know, there's such a, a mental side to the game as well, and uh, you know we made things difficult for ourselves over these two games, and it's something that I think hopefully we learn from. You look back at the two games, you're disappointed with the result, but straight away you look at how do we do it better, where do we need to improve. You know, between now and obviously getting together in November, I'll address that with the players. We'll address that when we come back in and we look for a performance in Dublin uh, against the Republic of Ireland and a performance here against Austria. And if we get those two performances and hopefully two results, we can look back and think, we can look forward to March and the squad will be more prepared and more, more ready for uh, obviously the qualification for Euro 2020.